<sighs> Everybody, today is February the 5th, and today my husband got Benjamin's ashes put into the locket. Well, into the little pendant, not locket, pendant. So I'm very happy and very pleased. But it is so late, and I didn't vlog at all today. So I'm just going to put this little message out there for you guys to know so you guys have something to watch tomorrow and to know that I did get ashes, get Benjamin's ashes put into the little pendant. And thank you, Courtney, so much. I absolutely love it. Oh, I just am so happy I can now have Benjamin with me everywhere I go. But on another note, it is so freaking cold here in Edmonton. With the wind chill, I think it's like around minus 40. And it's like that all weekend. And it was really cold yesterday as well. On Benjamin's birthday. And then cold today. And it'll be cold tomorrow. And the next day. So yay us here in Edmonton. Not really. <laughs> um, we did get some snow last night as well. Um, but yeah. I don't know. But anyways. It may be freezing outside, but this girl is still Canadian, and she needs her Slurpee. Or, sorry, a Froster, because I went to Circle K. Well, my husband went to Circle K. Mm -hmm. And I figured it would taste good with the 3D Doritos I bought the other day on Wednesday night. When I went to the store. So you guys both saw that on Thursday's video. But. They're so good. I think I do remember having these. I think these were around. When I was younger. So like. In the late 90s early 2000s. They taste very, very familiar. Like a bugle. But I actually do remember having these around. My husband remembers them too. So. I'm not really too sure. But they're a little spicy. So this helps curb the spice. Mm -hmm. Nothing can get more Canadian than a Slurpee on a cold day, right? <laughs> oh yeah, a. Eh? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I was not in a. It was a hard day yesterday, and I was just so tired. I ended the vlog really early. I was just pooped, and I'm still feeling it today. So I didn't vlog at all until right now. So. Oh, yeah. Nothing else happened today. But it was a hard day. And I did feel like a complete failure as a mother. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm a, mo I'm a mom at all. I don't see how I can call myself a mom. I mean, I see all these other moms on YouTube in real life. And you see sometimes how hard it is for them. And it's hard on me not being able to see my child. So I guess that just still make me feel like I'm a mom. But I don't know. Sometimes I just do not feel like I'm a mom. And I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm a mom at all. Um, oh, I don't know. I guess really what makes a mom a mom. I love my child. He's not here. I try everything in my power to make sure that nobody forgets him. Um, and you know what? He may be forgotten by some people. I don't really know. Um, I did feel love yesterday from like, you know, my mom called and got that little gift. My mother-in-law lives here. So obviously, you know, she sang happy birthday with us and stuff like that. And, but then, you know, my, my grandma forgot and like she's gonna be 79 this year in November 
And, you know, she lost her son, you know, my uncle. But, you know, she, you know, that was like, she got to know him for 36 years. So, I mean, or 35 years. He was 34 or 35 when he passed. I, I really don't remember. I don't really don't remember. He was in his 30s regardless before he turned 40. Oh, but anyways, um so you know, and I was talking to her the day before Benjamin's birthday. And you know, she said like, "Oh, it feels like as I was saying, oh, it doesn't feel like it's been a year." She's like, "Oh, it feels longer for me." And like, that just kind of hurt. Cuz like, I mean, I understand a year went by. I do fully understand that I'm well aware but mentally it did not feel that way it doesn't (sighs) but yeah I don't know I don't feel like a mom guys (laughs) I mean I definitely wish anything in the whole entire world I can kiss his boo-boos make him feel better feed him change him buy him clothes do anything in the world for my kid, you know, from for Benjamin. I would do anything in the world. And I wish I could do that more than anything in this whole world. Trust me. I wish I can cuddle him at night, read him a story. Scare the monsters away from under his bed. Make him know that everything's going to be okay. And, you know, I wish I could do that. Uh, and, you know, I don't like to hear people complaining about their child. Sometimes my sister complains about my nephew. My parents complain about my nephew. Nobody understands what I'm going through. Or understands what I'm dealing with. You know, not everybody realizes. I'm not, I'm, my, you know, my newborn baby, you know, he, Benjamin, Being a newborn, being a newborn is not the only thing I lost. I lost the one-year-old, the two-year-old, the three-year-old, the ten-year-old, the thirty-year-old. I'm losing out on grandchildren that I maybe would have had. A daughter-in-law maybe would have had. Or a son-in-law. I'm missing everything. And I don't know. (sighs) I don't know guys Uh, I know like maybe somebody might understand I'm not too sure but (sighs) I miss Benjamin I miss the baby I should be holding the stories the tales the laughter I should be sharing with people but instead I only have one story to share. And that's that I didn't know I was pregnant. That I went to the hospital thinking I went, I had a, that I had like, you know, a bowel blockage or something. To finding out I'm pregnant 40 plus weeks. I don't really know how far along or how overdue I was, I should say. To finding out I'm pregnant. To finding out my baby's no longer alive. To giving birth to my dead baby. To holding my dead baby. To saying goodbye to my baby. Never bringing home that baby. There's so much nobody understands. And will never understand. But. Anyways guys. I just want to come on here and. Say hi, show my face, show that I do have Benjamin now inside my little pendant that I'll cherish forever. And, you know, the little bear that Miranda sent me, I'll cherish forever. Everything I'm going to cherish forever. And maybe I will show you guys a few things in another vlog of the things that we do have for Benjamin. Anyways, guys, I love you. Be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.